The garden of humanity does not discriminate. I think we'd all agree that discrimination is inhumane. There's no place for hatred or bigotry in our garden. I'm saying it's our garden. Since the COVID-19 pandemic hit America, there have been tensions to the Asian community across the country. Some Americans blame Asians for the spread of the virus. Thus many of those misinformed Americans spread another dangerous virus called Asian hates. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have stood with the business owners of the Asian American community when pandemic-induced racism kept patrons away from Chinatown and other AAPI commercial corridors. And I personally spoke out immediately after the tragic shooting in Atlanta in March earlier this year that ended the lives of six Asian women. They expressed their hates with racism, hate speech, and even violence, that caused the death of some Asian immigrants. Hate has no place here in the city of Philadelphia. Yeah. Hate has no place here in Philadelphia. All of these traumatic experiences are extremely valid, and you have every right to feel these emotions of fear, which is why we are here, to show that we shouldn't have to conform to the victimizers, to the oppressionists. We do not have to feel this way, and it is unfair that we do. And instead of hiding, the Asian community shows them who they are. The Asian community in Philadelphia shows who they are through arts and culture. The city of Philadelphia, working with the Indonesian community, finds another option to show who the community is. In South Philadelphia, they find a wall, to tell their story. This wall, is not just a boundary, it tells a story, of a community. After the pandemic, there was a lot of uh, anti-Asian attitude going around, and I felt that this mural was a response to that, to kind of showcase Asian culture in general, and then Indonesian culture specifically, a gesture towards the acknowledgement of uh, support behind the Asian community. On this wall, they painted a mural called Unity and Diversity, which joins other 4,300 murals in the city to shine the lights of Philadelphia's diversity. Mayor Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs, our leader, which is Romana Akiyama, point out like, we need another mural to replace the one on 12 and Vine. So we reach out to mural arts and then the port light department came to life and say like, okay, we can put the platform for this mural, right? Uh, you know, they find the artist, they will find the painter itself. My name is Kian. I've been doing murals in the city of Philadelphia for the past uh, 15 years, uh, mostly with the mural arts program. For this mural, I was asked by the mural arts program to paint a mural that was designed by Winnie Siddhartha, who is an Indonesian artist in New York City and she came up with the design and I was in charge of uh, painting it. I don't know Winnie at that point, but I did mention it like, it would be so great to have like an Indonesian muralist, right? The look for that, it's kind of like needle in the haystack. <laughs> it's not easy, but the mural arts, luckily like they have a lot of connection and then 
they connect us to uh, Winnie. So I say like, let's do it with her. Working together on how to put our vision in the design. And then she did like a spot on the first drawing was like, wow, okay, we're gonna go with her. I'm Emily White. Um, I've been a muralist for, I guess like nine years, been working for mural arts. Um, I also started doing private murals. I really enjoy painting this mural. Um, the style is something that you don't encounter very often. It's very illustrative and it just has so many diff different interesting elements. When we hear how much a mural costs on the wall, we're like, oh my God, where are we gonna get the money from, you know? Originally, the funding is probably as big as the sign of Hardena. <laughs> That's it for the mural that we can afford. So we reach out to mural arts, and also like uh, we reach out to Office of Immigrant Affairs, which also play a big part. So. That's where the money comes from, right? <laughs> we need a big people to have the funding. So it was kind of like, wow, you know, like that momentum of like, yes, we can achieve it bigger and uh, more boldly. Um, I think the biggest challenge has been the weather. We've had a couple rain days. Um, and it's also, the weather has been very weird. It's been very, very cold in the mornings. And then once the sun hits, it's very hot. But I guess one of the most interesting parts of the mural was uh, that we hand drew everything. Like, um, it's rare that you get the design on the wall by hand drawing. There's like other techniques that are often used, um, but it, it's kind of what made this mural more fun. A mural is to bring unity and togetherness. So not only is it about pride, but it is also about understanding. I want them to see that this block, usually uh, it was dark and a little shady in a way because there's so many crimes around this neighborhood. Every corner, you know, there, there is a crime here at one point where I'm standing right in front of Hardena, right a block away or right on 15 or 16. There's always something happened. Not a good thing, but the restaurant been here like forever ago. <laughs> so Hardina is an Indonesian restaurant located in South Philly. We've been open since 2001. Started by my parents and me and my sister just took over about four or five years ago. So it's basically a mash between my mom's and my dad's name. So Harry and Ana but I like to make fun and say the D in the middle is me. <laughs> and my name is Dion, <laughs> but they're like, no. <laughs> we want them to think like, yes, the city do care about the people, right? And also it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing for the neighborhood. It's like a gift from the city to the neighborhood. A mural is about community expressing themselves. It makes a community feels at home. I didn't paint the food, so I don't know. I think this is beef rendang, which I'm always, pr I'm pronouncing everything too. That's a chicken thigh, banh mi. Um, this is a cone of rice, and then the, the leaves that are used to make the cone of rice. Uh, summer roll. Um, yeah, what's the, kian? what's the boiled egg and tofu? Curry. That's a curry they just made recently, a hard boiled egg and tofu curry. A mural can also connect to people who see it. This good representation, I would say, to the Cambodian community too, not just Indonesian. There's a Apsara dancing on the right side. Apsara dancing is a classical dance, iconic for the Cambodian culture. I would say that it represents all culture here. Are you coming for the block party, Om? Are you coming for the block party? Sunday, Bisini. I'm as a 
part of Indonesian community member here in Philadelphia. I'm so excited to see the reveal of this mural. I just want to thank the city of Philadelphia to make this thing happen. I'm so excited coming to this block party. What's up, Philly? It's a block party. I work at day, I dance at night. Traditional though. No sorry to disappoint. Represent my heritage. That's the focal point. Promoting, preserving, all through the joint. So, one more time. Let's go. S-A-Y-A-N-G. Sayang is the saying to know me is to love me. So check it, check it. Are right, we ready? Cut it. After more than 20 years, the Indonesian community strives. Finally, they have a wall that tells their story. Since the birth of our nation, Philadelphia has been a culturally rich city where immigrants come to build their lives. Today, we dedicate this mural to the Asian American immigrants in our city who have brought with them creativity, courage, grit, wisdom, insight, resilience, making our city flourish. Today, we stand with you and say that you belong here. We all belong here. So congratulations to Mural Arts and the Mayor's Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs on launching a series of murals that will showcase the many contributions of AAPIs to our city, build community, and tell the stories of our diverse history in Philadelphia. As an Irish American, I'm an immigrant too. Uh, when we came here, nobody wanted us here. They'll tell us all to get out. No Irish need apply, uh, and, and, and all of that. So my people, my generations of my folks went through this, and we would fight hard to keep generations of new people from going through this ever again. God bless you all. Thank you very much. With the pandemic fueling increased anti-Asian racism and xenophobia worldwide, we witnessed a rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans. Still, the resilience of Asian American Pacific Islander communities in the city was on full display. And this mural is a beautiful representation and reminder of our steadfast commitment. We are dedicated at DBHIDS to educating, strengthening, and serving individuals so that all Philadelphians can thrive. I'm going to say that again, so that all, everybody here, all Philadelphians can thrive. Our partnership with Real Arts fits squarely within our goals. We take pride in this partnership, and I am honored, we are honored, to be here today to take part in this wonderful celebration. Thank you. Today I am so grateful and proud that we came together as one community to celebrate and elevate Asian voices through each other in which this beautiful mural came to life. I especially want to thank Winnie Siddhartha, who is the creator of this gorgeous piece. She took the time to really listen to what we as a community wanted to see in this mural and created this gorgeous art piece that connected each of our intertwining stories. And a big thank you to Kian, Emily, and Sammy who came every day and worked so hard to get this mural finished, even in not so optimal weather. It was a lot of fun seeing the process. And thank you everyone for coming. So this mural is uh, meaningful for me because it's both personal project and a tribute to Indonesian and Southeast Asian community in Philadelphia. The title of this mural is Unity and Diversity and it's taken from old Japanese script, Bineka Tumbal Ika. So I'd like our Indonesian and Southeast Asian community to be able to pause, to look at this mural and to reflect on who we really are. There's a famous Indonesian phrase, Tak kenal maka tak sayang. That means uh, to know is to love. So I hope that this mural creates visibility so that everyone would like to know more about Indonesian and Southeast Asian communities so that we can lift each other up and become a stronger and kinder community. Thank you so much.